Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Amber and this is a channel all about plus size fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Today I'm going to show you my empties. Well, the empties that I will be buying again. So these are the good empties. I'm going to touch on some for hair, for body, and for makeup. So first up I have this moisturizer from Levito. It is Mandarin and Bergmont. Is that showing up? There you go. It smells so good. Very citrus forward, but like a sophisticated citrus, if that makes sense. I think you can only buy this online, so I'll link it down below, but they've got more options besides lotion in this scent. So um, I think ugh, it's just so good. Mandarin, orange, and bergamot. Yeah, so good. And then it moisturizes pretty well as well. The only thing is like the bottle is not huge, so I kind of save it as like my special moisturizer. Um, definitely not my everyday moisturizer. Next up is an item that I actually got in a previous FabFitFun box, and it's a body oil by Marianella. And it is Rosewood and Litsy Cubea body oil with Mongogo and pomegranate oil. And usually I'm not a huge body oil fan because sometimes it just doesn't glide on as smooth as I'd like. But I found that this one was actually really nice and this smell is so wonderful. Ugh, yes. It's hard to describe what it smells like, but I don't know, it's just something like earthy but fresh. I don't know, I love this one. I also don't know if this is sold in stores, so it might just be an online only purchase, but I'm definitely gonna be replenishing my stock for sure. So then moving on to face, this product by Ole Henriksen, which if you've never tried Ole Henriksen, I love his products. And they are sold at Sephora as well as on his website. And to be honest, his website usually has some sales and promos too, so just note that. This is the Transforming Almond Facial Polish. I actually love the scrub better, so I'm using that currently, but this one is an empty, so um, we'll talk about that. And I, so my skin type is pretty normal, but it skews maybe a little bit more dry, especially when it's cold outside. I definitely get a little bit more dryness to my skin. And so I'll use the scrubs probably once a week just to kind of slough off any dead skin that there might be and just brighten and refresh the skin. But I also don't want to use it too often that it would, you know, dry out or damage. So once a week seems to be good for me. And I don't know, I just feel like it gives me vibrance and radiance in my skin, which is really terrific. And then also from Ole Henriksen, I usually use this in the nighttime after I wash my face. This is his Truth Serum. And it's collagen boosted with True C Complex. And it's a little serum. It smells citrusy and fresh. And I'll usually use this um, right before I put my moisturizer on in the evening. So speaking of moisturizers for my face, this is another one that I had discovered through my FabFitFun box. It's called Volition. And it's a celery green cream. It's got hyaluronic acid and peptides. So first of all, the smell of this was so amazing. Yeah, it smells like, like cucumbers and celery and citrus. And it's a very light kind of gel lotion and it does have a little bit of tackiness to it. Um, I feel like every time I have something with peptides, I get a little bit of tackiness. Um, but it's not too bad at all. But I think the peptides really trap in that moisture, which is so great. Um, and then, like I said, it's lightweight, so it doesn't feel heavy under makeup or anything. So one last product that I've discovered through my FabFitFun box, which you guys, I didn't realize that I was finding so many favorites there, uh, is this Murad Resurgence Rapid Collagen Infusion Lotion. So I wasn't really sure what to do with this when I first got it. 
and I was finding I was using it maybe before important zoom calls or before I would film because the collagen is just supposed to like plump up your skin a little bit and make it feel a little bit more supple so I actually found I was loving once I used it how my face and complexion was looking on film so um, that's why it is now empty <laughs> and something that I'll probably get but not use daily maybe just use it for those special occasions when I want to feel a little bit extra put together and ready to face the day. So then after my moisturizers, I like to use a primer for my makeup. And the one that I love is this Sephora Smooth brand. It is the Sephora Beauty Amplifier Smooth Face Ultra Smoothing Primer. So this feels like there's silicone in it. It definitely like smooths on really nice. And then your foundation on top like also smooths on really nice for it. Um, this one I think is maybe $15. So there is an alternative that I'll use depending on if I'm near a Sephora or if I'm near like an Ulta. So I'll show the one that I use from Ulta above. I think the Ulta one is like $10. Um, but they're both very comparable in texture and use. I just love the smoothness that this gives. It almost is like one of those kind of blurry um, primers where it seems to just cover up all your pores and give you a really smooth complexion. And then after I apply foundation, I definitely love a matte finish, but I don't want it to look like there's a lot of makeup on my skin. So I use these little micro micro smooth powders and the one that I love is this one from Sephora this is the micro smooth baked face compact in the color light so it says breathable natural finish with refined minerals and coral radiance complex so I'm actually using this today and you can see it doesn't look heavy or anything um, but it gives a really great kind of matte finish to the makeup and once again depending on whether I'm at Sephora or if I'm at Ulta or if I'm at Target I do have a couple backup options that are very similar to this product so I'll be sure to show each of those as well as link them below and then to finish and set my makeup I've been finding a lot with these higher necklines and then maybe lighter colors like white that I'll get some transferring. Um, you know, when I'm like looking down or looking at the computer, I'll get makeup along the neckline. So I really ventured out to find a setting spray and I guess I'm still open. I still do find some transfer, but I did like this one um, because it's affordable, it has good reviews and it seems to work pretty well. This is the e.l.f. Matte Magic Mist and Set. And I think this was maybe $5, so definitely a good price. It's just a really fine mist and it dries quick and matte and yeah, it sets the, it sets the makeup pretty well too. And once my day is done and I wanna take that makeup off, my go-to for a lazy girl hack are these Neutrogena makeup removing wipes. Let's see. I don't know if they'll show up. There you go. So yeah, my packaging has <laughs> seen better days, but that means it's been well loved. Um, I love how easy these are to use. You don't need water. It takes off all traces of makeup without having to scrub. I find that my skin is sensitive to like abrasion and touch. It'll get red, but not so much to like chemicals. Um, you know, so I can try different products and not really break out. But you know, if I take one of these wipes even and just like rub at my face, it does get red pretty easily. So these ones are gentle, the makeup comes off pretty easily and I don't, I'm not left with a bunch of like oily texture finishes. So really love those, those are my go-to for sure. So lastly for my hair, and if there are any hairstylists out there, 
that want to give me some help on my hair. <laughs> my hair is very fine, um, very lightweight. I always love to have some volume in it, but it just wants to kind of fall because it's just very like baby fine hair. Um, so definitely mousse and maybe a little bit of texturizing would be great, but I don't want it to feel heavy at all. Uh, so what I've been using that has been a, a good product for me is this Tresemme 24 hour hold mousse. And I usually wash my hair one to two times a week, and so then I'll put this mousse in. Um, and I mean, I do find that it gives it a little bit more grit to it, so I can tease it. Um, but I feel like I've been using this one for a while, so I've been trying to test out other ones to see if there's new technology that I like better for my hair. So if anybody knows any, please refer me to some below. <laughs> All right guys, so that was a look into some of my must-have skin and beauty products. Tell me some of your secrets and some of your favorites down below. I'm always open to trying new products, so would love to know what you can't live without. As always, thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me. I hope you comment, like, subscribe, share, and come back for more. See you next time.